Welcome back everybody to Rimworld. Yesterday we made some pretty incredible progress when it came to our luxuries in the base to some extent. We're almost ready to finally kickstart these, these irrigation sprinklers. Obviously we turned out a whole bunch of tech points yesterday right up to advanced multi-analyzers with those tech profs. We're churning money. We're churning out beeswax statues that apparently give a load of beauty bonuses. Somebody did ask as well, is it possible to disable the beeswax in the mod settings? Unfortunately not. I have checked. Um, unless they've added an update. Apparently the mod did get an update overnight. But unless they've added the ability to... No, unfortunately not. Uh, so the mod settings for Empire, you can just change these various things here. But that is absolutely it. On the plus side though, we can turn the beeswax into apparently some, some really nice statues. So we'll use some for the base and then sell any spare ones as well. So we should still be able to turn a bit of a massive profit on that one one thing i want to do then is i want to get a bit more power into the base because right now at night time we are still barely just scraping ahead so to make up for that what i'm doing is i'm installing bear in mind yesterday we also bought a shitload of advanced components i've gone ahead and i've put down four more advanced battery banks the reason for that is that we are only running our nuclear reactor at half capacity now obviously increasing the fuel in it will increase the well, we'll actually make it so that it outputs a radiation. However, the only reason to come into this room is to refuel the reactor. And the amount of time it would take to go and refuel it and get out again, I don't think that's going to make any difference to our people. Uh, besides that, it is quite nicely shielded. And if it puts out any more cold, or if it needs any, I should say, if it needs any more cooling, rather than if it puts out any more cold, which makes no fucking sense, we can just use the excess power that the reactor produces, or the extra power, to put down another one of these physics-defying frozen columns, and hopefully that'll be enough to deal with any issues that might arise from that. So we're going to get the batteries down first, and then we're going to crank this boy into overdrive by, I guess we'll just set the fuel level to maximum. Honestly, why not? That alone might be enough. Look, she did it again. Bought over components when we didn't need it. That's so strange. That will hopefully provide us with... Yeah, but she's taking it back when we need it delivered over there. They're doing some weird shit. Not that it matters too much. But that will hopefully provide us with a massive amount of power. Bear in mind, it doubles the power output from 10,000 to 20,000. Again, at the cost of it outputting nuclear radiation. But we've, we've managed this decently, I think, that we shouldn't have to worry about it. The other thing, of course, yesterday, the, the, the big game that we got was a shitload more people joining the colony. Two of those people I asked for new names for. One of them was called something that was demonetizationable. So th this was kind of a genius idea. The suggestion was Dame Monetization. However, obviously all of that won't fit in. So I've called her Monetization as her first name. And then we'll just give her the title of Dame. We could, I guess, if we joined an empire. There's another model that lets you, lets you um, make your own ranks as well from what I've seen on, on the workshop. We could go ahead and eventually give her an actual rank, but we could just change it out today, and that's fine. So we got Dame Monetization to help avoid uh, Kasky Dixon's causing me some demonetization there. That was up until the second name suggestion, which was Bigger Stickers. Uh, bear in mind that she's from the Empire, or was from the Empire. It was apparently a suitable name, and I do agree, but that's kind of undone all the, all the good stuff from monetization there. We got our taxes in too, very cool. The 2,000 silver. How are we looking with that, by the way? What, what are we doing with that one? Um, so we got... Okay, so more taxes on route. And that one must be our tithe. Did I not finish the tithe? Oh, no, we still got to resolve the bill on that one. Hopefully when I resolve this one, we don't get any more beeswax. Otherwise, I will genuinely flip it over into another silver colony. Because it would be way more useful to have silver than to take the beeswax, turn it into statues, and sell it. We might as well just cut out the middleman at that stage, right? So this is the final chance. If they send us good resources, we'll keep them on tithe. If they send us crap... I'm going to have to flip it over to silver production, I'm afraid. Besides that, then, the thing that we're currently working on is the industrial scale pumps, and that will hopefully, with the power that we're getting from the reactor, that will hopefully allow us to get enough water to be able to run these hydroponics bays as efficiently as we possibly can. That will also allow us to not spend so much time planting crops. We can remove this entire cornfield, for example, because the fertility on this is going to be like 500% at that point. Then, at long last, we should be able to give our people new and more important jobs. Stay on top, top of the stone cut, and we could start building up other crafters. We could have a dedicated tailorer, things like that. There's a lot of things to do in the colony that right now we can't do because we have to stay on top of this food. So how many more bedrooms have I got to build? Uh, quarantine. Do you have a bedroom? You absolutely don't. So we need one for quarantine. Um, we need one for bigger stickers. Uh, oh, and that's it. It's just quarantine and bigger stickers because monetization... 
has a bed with so it gets knocked out a lot. I think they're just the last two. So two more bedrooms and we should be good in that regard. What we'll do then is we'll try and capitalize on this area a bit more because the insects, they also need a set size to obviously be able to spawn into. They can't just, you, you won't just get hive spawning down there. I mean, we could obviously anywhere in overhead mountain, but it's very unlikely. Um, so let's put two more bedrooms down there. We could always put a spare bedroom as well, a backup bedroom, because I'm sure we'll probably get future, um, future recruits again. So put one there too. That, that could be all right. And then that gives a very small area for the insects to spawn in. But as long as we keep it decently lit, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'll go ahead and put a couple of lights down here as well. Just to try and just to try and disencourage the insect somewhat, I think is probably the right word for it. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. So it actually produces uh, heat and radiation in a radius equal to the amount of fuel that it's got in it. That makes a lot of sense, realistically. Um, so let's go ahead and drop the fuel down to 75. Maybe that'll work. Can we, can we set them to unload it? Ah, see, the downside to that is now Edward Crosby is living in the radius of a nuclear shelter. Well, obviously not a nuclear shelter. A shelter that happens to be flooded with nuclear radiation. It occurred to me afterwards that nuclear shelters are what you use to protect yourself from radiation. Quite the opposite. This is a shelter made of nuclear radiation. Um, that's not ideal at all. That's actually really bad. Although, look at how fast our friggin' batteries are. Whoa, that'll do it. Um, yeah, okay, I didn't realize that it would actually... It would actually output to that extent, and, and we will need, at this point, another one of the... Christ, we haven't got enough steel or components. And we can't make any more components because we haven't got any steel. Typical. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Look, hopefully the settlement delivers on some steel. We know it can deliver on steel. I guess we just have to get lucky. 0 0.7 days, and hopefully that will solve that issue. Oh, Christ, that's actually a fast build-up as well. Our Tetra Slug, of all things, has a toxic build-up. Oh, it's going to have to get out of there. All right, uh, go to the animals area for the time being. You're, you're relieved of duty right now. Edward Crosby, you can't stay in there. We're going to have to just forbid that. Um, you know what? That will work as a, as a good uh, storage area for, though. Good bedroom for our prisoners. Yeah, I think that's pretty decent. Um, <laughs> just hope you don't piss us off, otherwise you go in the radiation chamber. I guess we'll go ahead and give Edward Crosby another, like, a sleeping spot somewhere until we can deal with this radiation. Um... How would you like to share a bed with someone? Probably not as much as you would prefer to sleep on the floor. Oh, he's a goblin. Anyway, he won't He won't give a shit. He doesn't mind. There it is. Industrial scale pumps and storage tanks. So I guess we'll build it somewhere in this area a little bit more. Capitalize on this, uh, on this excess space. Now, I specifically don't want to take anything apart. And the reason I want to do that is to maybe set up an entirely separate water system for the sprinklers than we have with our... Um, our, our housing. Obviously, thirst is... I have got the thirst need enabled, so they do need a set amount of water. Not only that, it would it would be kind of annoying if we didn't quite pump enough water and then the sprinklers used up all of their drinking water and bathing water and toilet water. So instead, we'll go ahead and set some some different things up here. Um, pumps water from Wales to pump... Oh, that's actually really good. Holy shit, look at that. Um, so... Do we need a particular type of well? Or can we just put down a regular water well? Um... I guess we just put one of those down, uh, and then we put one of those next to it, and they take up how much wattage? 1,000 watts. Okay, that's reasonable. They pump 10,000 liters a day, and then we put that all into a huge water tower. By God, I wish I had a smallest amount of steel. We would actually be able to... Oh, God, our head grass has blight. We would be able to actually get on that. Um, how long till our taxes are here? Come on, you can't let me down now. 0 0.5 days, and we might actually be finally able to get these goddamn sprinklers online. Well, I'm not too mad about that one 925 still it still isn't exactly what we're after but it is better than nothing so i am gonna leave them on that uh oh a heavy whoa 605 tiled mother okay um should we put that in the what do you think the dining room maybe the living area if we can just about find room for it somewhere um <laughs> it's a little bit questionable what if we reinstall the robots uh let's, let's put the robots in here instead Actually, it made more sense to put them in the storage room, wouldn't it? Or at least the hauling bots would make more sense to put in there. Move the hauling bots into that room then. And then we'll put the cleaners somewhere a bit more convenient that would allow us to install this statue. Um, let's do that one. There we are. And then we'll get this installed in the living area. And that's going to make it the most luxurious living area I think we've ever seen. What are you building there? Brittle beeswax. What does that count as? Um, very, very light. And things can be built within a very short amount of time. Gives plus two beauty. Oh, God. So last time this happened, we got given muffin. Um, we shall take care of it. Surely it cannot be of harm to us. Um, the animal remains calm. You colonists guide it in without issue. What have you given me this time? Okay. Uh, what have you given me this time? Uh, let's see if we can spot the odd one out, I guess. Um, 
Lazarus Dromedary, Muffin, Tetra Slug, Originators. Um, what have you given me? I have, I have no clue. I have no clue what they've gifted us this time. Um, pff, I'm, I must be blind because I absolutely cannot see any difference here. Is there a way to sort by time they've spent in the colony? Um, I don't believe so. Is there anything that's spawning near the edge of the maps, perhaps? Uh, is it that thing? Nope. I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue. Oh, there it is. It was it was right at the top of the list. It was a warg. Uh, or a warg, or however you want to say it. Um, yeah, I, I was looking through the list again, looking for any creatures that were unrestricted. And apparently, despite the fact I saw it by name, W is, of course, at the start of the alphabet. Anyway, um, good God. Pork has created a masterwork double bed. That's fantastic. Masterwork end table. That bedroom is going to be fucking luxury. And we've almost finished with our second set of bedrooms. Through there. Very, very nicely done. Um, so I've currently got research team working on the very sort of final essential parts of a hospital. We've got the surgical instruments. We've got the vitals monitors. We can put an advanced vitals monitor, which is a very, very large vitals monitor. It's called 7B. What? Um, which basically covers the entire hospital. You can connect up along with regular vitals monitors as well. What this means is we are going to need a hospital expansion. Um, to be fair, though, we built the whole thing out of silver, and we've got 6,000 silver kicking around. So I'm thinking for a hospital expansion, we we capitalize on all that extra space there. Um, let's also tidy these walls up, too. That's complete. We're not exactly desperate for silver like we were before. Let's do it. I like I like this idea. A much larger, maybe dedicate each bed to, or have two beds share a vital monitor rather than this, which is obviously quite difficult to move around. Let's build a bit more of an easy to navigate hospital. Oh my god, we're getting negative tax. Oh, it's it's the oil all over again. Um, so we had an event that happened that gave minus one mining. Um, apparently it said empty mines, but I didn't take into account the fact that we're so far over our worker hard limit that it's actually ended up costing us a fortune. <laughs> Good God. We've really not had much luck with these mines recently. Well, now it's dealt with. Next time we should get our profit back in, but that's why it's so low. Uh, there you go. Empty mines gives minus one to mining base production. Means each one was making, what, 0 0.15? Of course it wasn't worth it. Oh, there we go. That was a pretty quick turnaround. Okay, so the um, the hospital has come along pretty decently. We'll have to probably double up on this wall, though. Make our freezer a little bit smaller there, but it, it is obviously somewhat worthwhile. Now, it's just occurred to me that if we want to fit in the surgical instruments, the surgical lamp, the intravenous drip stand, the end tables, everything, we can't have beds back-to-back -back like this because there is just simply not enough room for everything. So we're going to have to have, unfortunately, one bed probably pulled away from the wall as well. Um, like a bed like that, and then a drip behind it, the vitals monitor. In fact, in hindsight, this isn't large enough. Oh, no, what have I done? Um, we're going to have to expand it down towards the south a bit more. You know what, let's let them finish the basic infrastructure first, and then we'll plan this out a bit more thoroughly. Uh, but we're going to need a bed there, aren't we? Then we're going to need, like, a vitals monitor there. We're going to need the intravenous drip there. Then we're going to have to have the surgical instruments, the surgical lamp, the end table. And that leaves one spot for them to be operated on. This is for the most optimal hospital you could possibly build. It's not necessary. But I want to ensure that our people are surviving, given that we've put this much effort into recruiting this many goddamn people. And they're all hand-picked. They're all very good people. So... I want to make sure that we're keeping them around here. But I'll, I'll wait for them to at least finish the walls before we plan this out a little bit more. Before we get too carried away, we've got 758 steel. Is that enough to get down the steel pump, first and foremost? It is. Okay, 120 steel for that one. Then we need a new water tower. Oh, God, that is a huge water tower. You weren't kidding. Um, that's 200 steel on one component. We need a pumping station. Then we also want... Actually, I've got to make sure that doesn't connect up to... Oh, it does. Okay. We've got to be careful we're giving this its own separate grid. That's all I care about here. I may even go as far to separate it from this one. Uh, show, me, show me the piping. We could run... Okay, so here's how we'll do it instead. We'll run this up through here. We'll remove this bottom section of piping. So we'll get rid of all of this crap. And then we'll put the towers back where we were before, and then we'll keep that... If, as long as we keep this valve turned off, what I will do is just go ahead and sever it entirely. Just to be completely on the safe side. And then... Oh, don't do that. And then we'll run the new water grid through here instead. That way it's on a completely separate system, and if we use too much water uh, running the farm, then it won't affect regular day-to-day -day activities. Alright, so let, we've just got to be sure that I don't accidentally connect that up one day without realizing. Um, and then we need a new water pump which we're going to put down. Where the hell is water pump? Water well, that's what we're after. Um, 
I mean, we could put it over here. It doesn't, it doesn't really make much difference. I'm sure it's going to be enough water. Uh, just to be sure, though, we'll put it as close to the actual river as possible. In fact, maybe we should build the whole thing a little bit closer. Save on whatever we can. Yeah, that's fine. Because what we're using this area for, fishing and then walking past, doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be that optimal. Actually, quite fortunate we had enough silver left to cover the new hospital expansion and the, and the deficit of the quarries as well. But to be fair, the settlements have still made a ridiculous amount of profit for us. So I, I really can't complain at all in that regard. All right, uh, so we're going to have enough to definitely get all of this stuff done, because it's only, what, yeah, 12 silver a tile. More than enough to get this stuff finished. I want to get pork. Uh, he's actually... Oh, right, okay. I want to get pork working on this stuff. Getting this stuff done first, like I said, will... Not enough steel. What are you talking about? What have we wasted the steel on? Oh, God, the silver tiles use steel, don't they? Oh, but it's only three apiece. No, there's no... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 200? 120? And we've got 500 steel. What the hell are you talking about? You people have lost your mind. What do they think of the recreation room, by the way? Um, luxurious and beautiful. That's exactly right. Oh, God, no. Wait, you're telling me that was our tithe? Did they seriously tithe 211 wax and then 2,058? Yeah, that must have been it. I think they actually dug up silver to send to us instead. Oh, well, I mean, it's not a big deal, I guess. But again, I would prefer some... So we've got two ways to go about this, realistically. We either cancel the tithe altogether and just accept that it's just going to give a shit in the form of beeswax. Alternatively, we set up more tithe settlements and accept the fact that we're going to get a load of beeswax, but also accept that we are going to have a much larger volume of, of, of steel by extent, just because of the law of averages. So, um, good God. What was the tithe value on that one? Tithe estimated value, 1,900. Oh God, look at that. Jesus, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. But I have a feeling that was still the one from the... Was it? Was that still the one from where the taxes were cut down by the mines? I'm not entirely sure. Um, that one's 600 butte. That one's 605. So they're roughly the same there as well. What are we going to do with this one? Put it in the dining room. Or we could put it in the work room to try and cheer them up a little bit as they spend all day toiling here. That's fine. Let's stick it in there. So the hospital is almost finished as well. It's obviously going to take a lot of steel to get this up together, but once again, we have no <laughs> steel. So what I'm thinking is, let's turn back on the ground penetrating scanner. We've got more than enough power at this stage to make it work. Honestly, I'm not sure if that'll be enough for turning these sprinklers on, but we might as well turn it on and use what we have pumped, because it does lower over time, as we found out there. So that one is connected up on a separate grid. The tower, though, it says it hasn't got any water, and it actually has half the capacity of that over half of what this one's got stored already. This one's bringing in, uh, uh, this this one can pump 10,000 litres a day, right? But the, the actual groundwater we've got access to is only 7,138 litres a day. I assume we need to pump uh, more water in from other sections of the mine. So we could put, like, another tap there, for example. We could put another tap over here. And then if we connect them all up, in theory, that might be... I don't know how it works. And then if we connect them all up and, and maybe put down another pumping station... That might be sufficient at that point. I'm not entirely sure. In fact, let's just put down one more pump for the time being. Because those two kind of overlap anyway, right? Um, let's put that one down there. We'll wire it into that one. That way, this pump, we're at least getting the maximum out of it. If that adds another 7,000, sure, we're wasting 4,000 of our uh, of of the liters on this one. Because the pump doesn't have enough capacity. We can put another pump later on, though. At least I'm hoping that's how it works anyway. So let's do something like that in the meantime. I know it'll cut those crops temporarily, but they'll regrow them back over the cable when we're done. Okay, so put that one there. That will hopefully provide... Th that will max out that pump, if nothing else. I don't know. T that's 10,000 litres a day. We'll have to see when it turns on how much these things really do use up. But with that and our sun columns, this couldn't get any more effective. Brilliant. He caught 13 steel while fishing. We can now officially say that... Fishing for the past two tides has made more steel than our tides. Incredible. Fantastic. That's exactly what I expected with our salmons. It's a real shame it conflicts with the bees mod. It's actually conflicting to such an extent I almost want to uninstall the bees. Given that I'm not sure we're going to be looking at the bees at all this series because they are so complicated. All it seems to be doing is, is conflicting with the Empire's mod. I'll see if I can safely remove it. I will have to remove the, the beeswax sculptures or whatever else. But, I, I mean, it's either that or we're just kind of wasting opportunities, aren't we? Um, obviously, it's fucking the Empire's mod up quite a lot. So, I'll see if I can safely remove that very quickly before the next tide comes in. And we waste even more time getting beeswax, which I don't, I've decided I don't really want that anymore. 281% growth rate. That's what I would like to see. 
That's really, really good, because it means we should be able to cancel this one now. I'll give it a couple of rotations, just make sure that our water tower is working as intended. To be honest, I don't think we even need the second water well, but again, to make the better opportunity, to make the better use of this opportunity we were given in the form of the pumping station, to keep it at max capacity, we might as well. It's another, what, like 50 steel, and there's no nothing else we need to set up besides that, so it, I mean, 50 steel to ensure that this thing's topped off. It seems to be holding, though. That's the important thing here. So I think we're good in terms of our fertility. Now all I need to do is still find a way to do the biosolids. I still don't have a, a solid answer on that one. I did do some digging around, but the documentation for the IG mod has been kind of all over the place, mainly because the mod itself has had so many upgrades, which is only a good thing, don't get me wrong. It's had so many different updates over its lifestyle, um, over its lifetime, I should say. I still haven't found anything for that. So if anybody does know a way with the current build to, to get... The bio solids guaranteed. Please let me know. Sure, of, I I don't want to make them all have a latrine again. Uh, although it would work, it seems so. It seems to be a bit regressive by comparison. But if it's the way to make our crops work, then sure, why the hell not? Somebody did suggest that the drain button changes it, but as far as I know, the drain button um changes it so that it drains when it hits a certain fullness. So right now I've got it set to the minimum. So when it hits twenty five percent fullness, they'll drain it out into the into the solids, which we can then compost down. I also move the composters indoors because they need a certain temperature. Unfortunately, it never hits that 25%. You can see there, it's only at 1.9% right now. So, um, unless there's another smaller way to... Unless we can build a smaller septic tank, unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can do with that. I also completely forgot to mention that we did survive me removing the bees there. I did just go ahead and whip that out fairly quickly, and it seems to be okay now that I've removed all of the bee-related items from the map. So, fingers crossed now... The Empire mod should be working as intended and we should get steel from our mines rather than beeswax. Oh, one thing I also started to do is put down a new animal shelter over here too. I was going to tap into it with the steam geezer to be able to provide them a nicely um, insulated room, be that with heaters or be that with coolers or whatever, just to ensure they had a consistent temperature, somewhere to hide. Uh, the downside to that is we apparently don't have geothermal generators yet. So, I mean, I could tap it into the main grid. We're not far off of having power in this area, are we? Um... No, not really. Uh, I mean, it, it's steel that we don't have. It, it's a whole 45 steel, which unfortunately the treasury can't bear such expense right now. So eventually we'll get around to doing that. But again, it's going to take a while, unfortunately. Where, who is this? Dahlia. Oh, right. That's right. I decided let's stop feeding her and let's rip out her heart. So I did exactly that. I pulled out her heart, which is why some of our people are slightly less happy about that now. Um, but she is dead as dick. So I assume we've got the innocent prisoner died and someone was organ murdered. Yes. <laughs> That's a minus 11. Oh, wait. Hang on. That's a minus 5 plus another minus 5. It's a minus 16 overall. Oh, yikes. Okay. If I'd have known it was going to be quite that severe, maybe I wouldn't have ripped a high out. Although they're going to have a party. Look at them all. We've got, I don't think we've ever had this many colonists in a base before, have we? Not including the, the um, necromancers that we had. Oh, it uh, gets a lot of monetizations. Marriage ceremony. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, let's have it in front of the, uh, let's have it in front of the butcher's room. Oh, good. Everyone's favorite. It must be the mother-in-law. What are we looking at here? What in the... Yeah, no shit. The marriage ceremony has been called off. Um, Megalovania. Okay. This is in... We, we've got giant crocodiles. This is the second time we've we've had giant crocodiles attack our base. Okay, team. Um, let's get to work then. Good God. Oh, well, hang on. Bigger stickers needs a rifle. Um, what have we got for you? All we've got left is the battle rifle. To be honest, that's probably the best thing we've got anyway. I mean, like, out of, out of everything we could have had before I sold it all, that's probably the best thing we got. Right, okay, how do we want to do this then? Let's get shotgun boys on the bottom row. I want to readjust our weapon priorities a little bit here. So let's get shotgun boys down the bottom. Let's get... who? What, what's up to this plasma gun? What's the range on that thing? Absolutely fucking massive. Wow. Um, okay, in that case, let's get up sir, to the... So Sharamus, you need to go there, chief. Um, let's get Opsa at the very top of the... We need to change our killbox around. In fact, it might be worthwhile to have some people over this side. Fuck it. Opsa, get up there. Um, let's get our charge rifle boys up here as well. And then... Actually, no, it'd be better to have our charge lancers up there, wouldn't it? Uh, you guys come back. Sorry, my bad. Get the charge lancers up there. Along with our long-range plasma weapons. And then we'll have our... Everyone else down here. Good God, what a complete mess this is, huh? Um... Yeah, let's move, let's move you up there as well. Jesus. We've got some really weird weapons in this colony. What's your laser gun range like? Um, also really, really good. Like, nothing to worry about there at all. Okay, those are your new defensive positions. 
Where are the crocodiles? They're making their way around. Oh, God. Um, got major break risks already. I'm, I am I mean, they're going to take so long to get here. I might just let them have a little bit of time to do whatever the hell they want for a second. Um, oh, please tell me I saved those defensive positions. You didn't, did you? You absolute moron. Oh, God. Here they come. Okay. Let's see what we're up against. They're very, very, very slow. So it gives us plenty of time to hopefully kill these guys dead. And then it gives Sharamus a little bit of time. Actually, let's pull him back a little bit there. Um, don't want to be overwhelmed on the on the corner. Although I think he would have been safe there anyway, right? Okay. Good God, these things are absurd. Look at how much damage they can take. Shit, this could be a genuine problem. This one, this one could be a genuine problem. Um, fuck, what are we supposed to do? Hang on, they're coming back? What the hell are they doing? They've got some weird pathfinding going on. That's fine by me. Look, they're, they're stuck. Why are they stuck like that? I don't know, but I'm going to take advantage of it. Um... What's it get down here? Port get down here as well. That bullet storm gun is very, very, very good. I think it might be something to do with the spotlights dazzling them or something. They kind of... Oh, uh, looks like they might actually be progressing now. Okay, they're actually moving on. Their path finding was confused a little bit there, but they seem to be in, in the right position. Oh, God. We haven't killed a single one yet. This is fucking horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Sharamus, you might have to really test out your stone skin here, friend. Good luck. Okay, there's one down. Is this plasma launch not the... No, no, no. The plasma launch we were using before that was horribly overpowered was from... Um, was it from the Cybernetic Warfare mod? This one is from uh, Sparkling Worlds. Okay, that's not too bad then. Good luck. Luckily, they move again so slowly that we can very much control them here. Just our Blizzardist Clutch mother got hungry as well. So that's, that's really great timing. Oh, yeah. You know what? As long as we can take them one at a time like this, it's not too bad. What the fuck are they doing? Seriously. You know what? I think we can go speed too. No problem. And now we get to sit here and watch as we butcher a bunch of uh, butcher a bunch of big old crocodiles. I don't know why I was worried. This is not a problem at all. Thanks, Elder Guard. Very cool. Well, to be honest, I was tempted to move everybody down to this kill box or or even stop that robot for a second, and then I thought, no, no, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn this into a little bit of a time lapse because they. Posed absolutely no threat whatsoever. Thank you, Merciless. Very cool. Um, well, on the plus side, though, that's a lot of meat for our spiders just as they started to go hungry. So we're good. And just as our people started to go a little bit nuts as well from standing in the rain all night shooting gigantic overgrown blue crocodiles. The question is, how much meat is this going to bring in? Because this is um, this is insane. I've actually gone as far to force them to prioritize butchering because apparently even though there's a corpse in the spider lair, they're not eating her. Um, and I don't know exactly why they don't eat her. I guess they're a bit more picky than I assumed. So instead, I've got them uh, force prioritized on this. So not only will they butcher all of the the crocodile carcasses, but when they're finished with that, they'll move on to butchering. Why did you get that? They'll move on to butchering and making more kibble as well. We got over 5,000 meat from that. That was, that was absolutely insane. I appreciate these manhunter packs. It means we don't ever have to go out hunting. And there's our corn harvesting as well. Now, how are we looking in terms of the water tower? To be honest, the water tower is good with that. I, w I would still love to obviously spend that extra 50 steel, but we don't have any extra steel right now. How long until that's coming in is the real question. Um, 1.9 days. It might be tomorrow's job then. Hopefully now that the bees have been dealt with, the tithe farms will be much more valuable to us. They'll hopefully work as intended and we'll be able to carry on with, with our goals. What a shame. What a shame that the bees, of all things, managed to sidetrack us there. Anyway, we'll go ahead and leave that one there for today. Slightly shorter than the usual campaign I would do. Um, or or the, the usual episode I would do, mainly because I've been recording this for friggin' ages now. Just basically waiting for steel, and we still haven't gotten... I started recording this episode um, half past 11pm, and it's almost 2pm now. Sorry, 2am uh, now. So, it's been quite a long time. Been, 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 a, been a little bit of recording there, so thank you all for watching and more importantly a big thank you goes out to the insane top tier level patrons and all the patrons and you at home for keeping the channel going during this lockdown period where things are a bit more rocky thank you to zazzy 7011 darth hawk jackson Woodman, iguana squad harik northern bear scott harry mcgowan nordstrus beleg strongbow chesty roll 2 d1 games shay Gogolus and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon as well for their support. It's, of course, much appreciated. Again, thank you guys for keeping the channel afloat here. And a thank you as well to Kiko, Derek F, Organized Confusion, Swifty21, 
Void Prince Kibo, Erotha, Corgi Circus, Talar, Empty Machine, Socrates, Monty, Attila, Eben Dragon, 323, Mason, a bot bin, Sweetie, and everyone else at Patreon as well. And of course, you guys at home for keeping the channel going here. See you all tomorrow for steel, some steel and some progress. <laughs>